Many people have likely seen the eFix Vision RTKF8 on social media. Its vision survey and vision stakeout features are truly impressive. Let's unbox it and take a look. The box size is slightly larger than a mobile phone, and the material is sturdy and durable. The eFix Vision RTKF8 uses the new generation SOC chip with 1608 channels, supporting five satellite positioning systems for combined calculations. Those who have used eFix RTK know that it can quickly get a fixed solution anywhere. The measurement accuracy is qualified. The main body's material is magnesium aluminum alloy, with an IP67 rating for water and dust resistance, capable of withstanding a 2-meter free fall, and can be submerged underwater. It supports NFC quick connection. The handheld controller can be connected by simply bringing it close. It has a Type-C interface, can be charged with a mobile phone charger, and can be charged with a power bank. It weighs 750 grams, and its dimensions are 13.4 cm by 8 cm, making it lightweight and compact. The device has a built-in 4900 molythium battery with a battery life of up to 15 hours. The FC2 handheld controller has a 5.5-inch high-definition display screen that is clearly visible under strong light. The main feature of the eFix Vision RTKF8 is its two cameras, which enable vision survey, AR visual stakeout, and 3D modeling. In particular, the vision survey capability addresses many practical issues for customers, such as measuring occluded points, obstacle points, and danger points. Let's experience it together. What practical problems can vision surveying solve? We have summarized some common scenarios. The first category is called occluded points. Look at the red pillar and the nearby curb. Due to the obstruction of the bridge, satellite signals cannot be received. Tap vision survey, align with the area, move a certain distance, and record the video. And tap stop. Then, confirm to resolve. Select a photo. Move the red crosshair to the point to be measured. The coordinates of this point are measured and saved, and the same operation can be used to extract all the points you need. The second category is called obstacle points. We want to measure the bridge piers inside the fence. Following the same steps, open the vision survey, walk a few steps towards the object to be measured, and tap stop. Select a photo with the object to be measured, choose the first point, and the coordinates will appear. Tap save. Tap yes. Follow the same steps to choose other points save yes, and the coordinates will be extracted. The third category is called danger points. We want to measure the position of high voltage line insulators. Open the vision survey, walk a few steps towards the object to be measured, and tap stop. Select a photo with the object to be measured, choose the position, then save yes. Extract the coordinates of the required points one by one. Next, we will experience the process of vision survey and evaluate its accuracy. Tap survey, then tap vision survey, point the camera at the object to be measured, open the vision survey, walk a few steps towards the object, and tap stop, then, confirm to resolve, select a photo with the object to be measured, move the red crosshair to the point to be measured, and tap select, the coordinates will appear, tap save, then tap yes, the coordinates of this point are now measured and saved. Next, we will use the regular RTK measurement method to measure the point we just measured again, tap survey, then survey. Now, let's check the point library to see the difference between the coordinates measured by the two methods. We can see that the difference is just a few millimeters, indicating that the accuracy of the vision survey is very good. Using the C8 Vision RTKAR stakeout not only improves efficiency but also reduces work intensity. Select a point to start the stakeout, and you can see the image from tens of meters to even a few kilometers away. You will see a big red dot under the street lights. Just walk over to it without needing to look at navigation or the handheld controller. When you get close, just tap the red dot, and the stakeout is complete. Next, we will evaluate the single object modeling function of this RTK. The operation is very simple. Look, point the camera at this Python, and just walk past it. The raw data will be recorded. How do we process the data after measurement? eFix data is compatible with almost all modeling software on the market. For example, we can import the data into Pix4D software for processing. Let's look at the results after processing. The final modeling result is very complete. The relief on the Python is very prominent. The patterns and textures are clearly visible. This shows that the modeling effect is very good. Last year and the year before, eFix organized 16 provincial product launches and 16 revolutions TK performance comparisons, with eFix winning first place each time. Now, this RTK has been greatly improved compared to last year. It has added an algorithm to resist the impact of the ionosphere. The fix rate has increased from 80% to 96%. And accuracy has improved by 20%. Next, let's take a look at its performance.
The CAT's 3 proof rating is IP67, resistant to 2 meter free drops. Fix. With data updating normally, and can be submerged in water. In addition to the features mentioned above, this RTK has many other very practical and powerful functions, such as fast charging, support for CAD view, on-site drawing, road industry applications, power industry applications, starlight level camera, cloud management, and more.